Welcome to the demonstration using Windows Live Movie Maker. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to import footage, make a few cuts, and then export it or save it as a compressed file in order to upload it to the web. So before we get started, let's take a look though at the what we have on the screen. Well, we have these tabs across the ta top, Home, Animation, Visual Effects, Project. It's very much like the tabs that you would find in a Microsoft Office document. Similarly, you've got across the top your ribbon. So on the Home tab, we can add videos and photos. And a little further down, we have uh, editing. We can share it. If we go to animations, you can see we can make transitions, although that's grayed out because we don't currently have a video that we're working on. Visual effects. We also have project. Let's make this just a standard screen because I'm working with an old movie, so I know that's going to be standard. And back to the home tab. So let's get started. I'm going to add a video, so I'll click on the Add Video and Photo icon. But before I do that, again, let me just point out here on the left where the black screen is, that's the preview to the footage that you have, the video footage that you have. And on the right, click here to browse for videos or photos. That is where you're going to see all your clips come in. And then this important one, the uh, play button with the back and the forth allows me to navigate Okay, so I'm going to add photos and videos. And here it takes me to a folder that I have, um, a, doc, a video document, how to study. That's uh, also I have school rules. That is a 42 megabyte file. It's 10 minutes long. It's an MP4. And I got this file from the Prelinger website. It is fair use. And so let me use that because that's what we're going to edit with. Choose that, select open, and there it brings it in. Now I'm going to click on the play icon so that we can see some of the footage. It's got a trailer like a really old film. The opening credits. I can let that play for just a moment. I'm interested in doing just a couple cuts here. Let's see where they start. I'm going to pause that for now and just say I really like that whistle blowing and I want to use that little section of the film. So I'm going to back it up just a little bit and when I, right before I hear that whistle, I'm going to use my space bar to stop the play so that I can split the playhead or split the clip right where the marker is. So let's back that up. I'll just slide that over a little bit. Okay. Actually, it starts right about over here, and I'm going to move that over. Okay. So hit the play, be ready with the space bar. Oops, seems I missed it. So let's go back. Okay, right there, right before he blows the whistle, whistle. Actually, I'll back that up just a few frames. There we go. And now using the edit tab, I see here I have what's called split. So I can split the selected video into two items at the current point, and that's what I want to do. So I'll choose that. Now I need to also split it where I want it to stop. So I'm going to um, split the video right after he blows the whistle. I stop it using the space bar, use the split, and there we go. So I've separated that out from the rest of the film. 
Now, I really like that shot. Let's just play that. Great. I'm going to duplicate that. Right click, select copy, right click again, and select paste. And now I have two of those. Now, this top clip, I don't need that at all. So I'm going to actually just select it and delete it. Now I need to find another clip for my video. So let's play this a little bit and see what we have. I'm looking for some footage where Rules I can cut. In action. Rules that keep things going smoothly and fairly. Well, I'm going to look for some footage actually that is visual but doesn't have any sound. And I know I watched this a little earlier. Okay, we have three boys shooting basketball. I'm going to start that. And when those boys start to play and are not speaking, I'm going to stop the video so I can split that clip. Get it. Of course, in small groups, we sometimes get along without rules. All right, so I'm going to split it there and then play it some more until I want it to end. Oh, went a little too far. I'll back that up just a few frames using the back button and split that. There we go. Now I have a clip of these three boys. I'm going to drag that clip up behind the uh, whistleblower. And I'm going to duplicate that too. I'm going to copy that and paste that. Okay. So now what do we have? Let's start from the beginning. Rewind it. We'll slide, whoops, we'll slide the playhead all the way over and now we'll start to play it. Great. So, let's see. I am just about done. I'm going to duplicate that whistle one more time. Choose that, copy, and I'm going to put it over here and paste it. Now, okay, I'm going to do one more copy and paste, and I'm going to drag that to the other side of those boys. Now, the rest of this footage I actually am going to delete everything except the things that I've just cut. Now if I scroll down, hold the shift key, I can select all of that and hit delete. All right, now I haven't saved my movie yet. Let's do that before I go any further. So on the left here, we've got Movie Maker. Notice I have various things I can do. I can make a new project, save my project. That's what I want to do. I want to save my project because I'm not ready quite to publish the movie or to save my movie, which is different. This is the project, which means that later I can come back and edit it some more. But there's a real distinction between the project and the movie. The movie is what you share the project is what you work on. So I'm going to save my project. I'm going to call this um, Five Clips Edited into my, and it's notice the file type, it says Movie Maker Project. And I'll save that. And now I'm ready to export it. There are different ways that that's referred to. Conceptually, when you finish editing a movie, some uh, applications ask that you export it, some ask that you share it, others will say do a save as, but just remember you want to find a way to make it a movie and not just save your project. We've already saved our project. So under publish, I could send it to YouTube, I could put it up on my Facebook. Um,
But what I want to do is I want to save this movie and I am going to choose Windows Phone Small because I want to make a really small video because what that does is that compresses it and makes the file size small enough for me to put online. So I'm going to choose Windows Phone Small and I am going to give it um, I'm going to add to the name five clips edited and I'm going to say movie because I know it's going to be my movie and notice it's a Windows Media video file that's going to be the extension type notice where it's saving it okay because you want to be sure it's going here into my documents then I'm going to put it into my course folder Oh, actually, I'm going to put it into my Movie Maker Edits and save it there. So it's saving the movie. And when it's done, I'll be able to open that. It asks me if I'd like to play it, and I will. So that's how you edit and make straight cuts only using Windows Live Movie Maker.